A 50 Cent Consumer and Harmony Weekend is a little more than five weeks away. Date now. Tickets will soon be on sale for 50 Cent's Comedy and Music Festival. Humor and Harmony Weekend will be from August 8th through the 11th with shows at Independent Stadium in Shreveport. Shreveport and the film industry, the video industry, is about to explode. All roads the Shreveport. August 8th to the 11th here at Independence Stadium this place should be crawling with probably I would say approximately anywhere from 80,000 to 120,000 people for 50 cents humor and harmony fest now I bought my tickets as soon as they went on sale last Thursday morning I mean I have kind of mixed feelings about the the guests that are actually going to show up to this event about half of them that I know and then the other half of the guests I've never heard of before because I, I come from the 90s and early 2000s generation so pretty much if you became famous after I would say 2015 I probably don't know who you are <laughs> you know I, I, there's some there's some people's names on that list at Ring of Bell I know who Ray J is I know Tank Pleasure P, Keith Sweat, I'll be sure. I know who the baby is. Uh, who else did I see on there? As far as the music guest, that is. Uh, French Montana, I know who he is. Flo Rida, I'm glad Flo Rida's on the list. Because I wanted to see, I think I mentioned in the previous video that I wanted to see a pop artist come here like Flo Rida. And I don't know, maybe 50 Cent saw my uh, video that I posted when I went to Fort Worth to see Ludacris and Shanti and Xavier perform. Maybe he saw that video and, and saw my request to have Flo Rida come to Shreveport. So if he did, I appreciate it, 50 Cent. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yes, I am, I will be attending this event. I just hope that everyone's safe. But this is Shreveport and we all know Shreveport has a reputation. And I just want to share with y'all some of my concerns for this event. Because the, the first thing that came to my mind was that, uh, you know, back in December, when I attended the Independence Bowl, there was a huge issue with parking. And that Independence Bowl was like a low, there was a low turnout for like, like the fans wise. I think, I got to go back and look, but I don't even think like 30,000 people attended, maybe a little over 30,000 people attended the Independence Bowl back in December. So, but so far, well, really the day after I bought those tickets, the pre-sale tickets, 70,000 people had already signed up to come to this Humor and Harmony Festival. So, but this Humor and Harmony Festival is expected to have four, maybe five times as many people. Do we even have the space at Independence Stadium for, those, for that kind of number of people? Because I don't think so. We don't even have that large of a crowd not at one time at least we don't even have that size of a crowd attending the state fair okay so you're telling me that a hundred thousand people or maybe even more than a hundred thousand people 
are going to be able to come to this event and there will be enough parking space and seating here at the stadium so there's going to be a lot a lot of law enforcement out here for this festival and they're supposed to be having this kind of um thing where they're supposed to be like driving around the stadium and the fairgrounds 24 7 from august 8th to august 11th right but here's the thing now security inside the stadium during this event i'm not really worried about that it's the activity that's going to be going on outside of the stadium during the event and after the event that's the major concern because see the people who are actually buying tickets and going inside to watch the show you really don't have to worry about those kind of well maybe there, there may be some fights in the stands but as far as like shootings and stabbings and all that that's i don't think that's going to happen inside the stadium but the drama is going to go down outside of the stadium especially after the event when this show ends at 10 o'clock that night and everybody's headed back to their cars traffic jams all over the place greenwood road hearn i-20 that's when the bullshit is going to start so y'all be careful if you're attending this show please be careful when you leave so it just goes to show you how these majority black events that we always have no matter where you're at it's always the same thing unnecessary drama and that's what i'm worried about when it comes to this this is supposed to be the biggest event that streetport has seen probably ever when it comes to attendance and i don't think streetport is prepared man i really don't i'm pulling for streetport man but y'all y'all have let me down a lot of times before the most recent event we had was back in may Cinco de Mayo, that was the so-called Cinco de Mayo event when y'all had Boosie and Webby come down here and there was a shooting. You know, luckily only one person was injured. It didn't get that bad, but still there, there was still a shooting. Right? So if that went down at this Boosie and Webby concert back in May, I'm just wondering what will this event be like? Now the first night is supposed to be the comedy night with all the comedians coming here you got cat williams gary owen lavelle crawford uh michael blackson matt rife i think it's is that how you pronounce his name matt rife now i've never heard of matt rife but apparently he's a pretty popular guy because i was on facebook the other day and they were asking and the uh news forum the fans like who are you more anxious to see at the comedy show and a lot of people in the comments were saying matt rife if that's how you say his name matt rife and i'm like who is matt rife i've never heard of this guy i guess he's one of those comedians that like recently became famous probably within the last four to five years you know a lot of these celebrities now they're getting famous on social media and not like in actual hollywood and there's nothing wrong with that i'm just saying that's just how the times are changing you know his looks probably has a lot to do with his popularity. He looks like a one of those Abercrombie and Fitch models you saw in the mall on the wall when you walk into the store. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he looks like one of those Abercrombie and Fitch models, those Hollister models that you saw in the mall posters. But yeah, uh, but I, I I hear that he's a funny guy too. So I'm I want to see what this guy's about. But yeah, like the the drama won't be the first night at the comedy show. All the drama is going to go down Saturday for the the music events because like half of these guys i never heard of like the rappers half of these guys i don't know i never heard of before uh, a boogie with the hoodie i don't know who that is uh there's a guy by the name of fredo bang i never heard of him but i know tank i know uh pleasure p ray j uh french montana the baby now the baby the interesting thing with the baby was that just Two years ago, the baby was on the top of the world. About three years ago, the baby was like he was huge. He had songs with uh, Dua Lipa and Camila Cabello. He was he had like three or four songs on the top ten 
Billboard charts in the pop category. Like the baby was something huge just three years ago. He kind of fell off because he said something that was considered uh, homophobic about the LGBTQ community. And he was kind of like blacklisted from Hollywood ever since then. He's still doing his thing. He's still doing shows. He's still making money and all that. But the baby, I mean, he's not where he should be right now because of what he said about the gay community a few years back. Because I remember he had that song with uh, Dua Lipa. And I would hear that song play on the radio all the time. And then after he said what he said about the rainbow community, they started to play the non-rap version of Dua Lipa's song. You know, once again, I, I really think that black culture has turned for the worse. I don't think black culture is where it should be. And it shows every time we have a large event. We just had the BET Awards last, last Sunday in LA. And I didn't watch it, but I heard it was a complete shit fest. There were a bunch of women out there dressing appropriately. And there was also some, some scuffles outside of the event. Actually, Ray J, Ray J the singer, Ray J was involved in some kind of confrontation with some guy after the show where they got in each other's faces. And Ray J actually went back to his truck and got a bag and he acted like he was about to pull a gun on this guy. And Ray J's like 45 years old. Ray J's old. So if you got people, you got, you even have artists, celebrities who will be, who are supposed to be performing at this event. If they can't set a great example, what do you think the people, what do you think the fans are going to be like? And this is Ray J. He's an OG. He's, a, he's an OG R&B singer. If Ray J is acting like that, what do you think these younger 20 something year old rappers right now? What do you think? How do you think they're going to be? It's like, they're going to be like, here's what y'all are not thinking about. You're going to have these rappers and their boys their entourage show up to this event there's also a concern with the local artists showing up out here who are not allowed to perform they're going to show up with their with their camp their entourage their boys their goons and there's going to be some kind of confrontation during or after this event there's a lot of jealousy and animosity that surrounds these large black oriented events the two major issues will be parking and security and I'm also wondering if local law enforcement thought about people coming in from out of town and parking down these side streets off of Greenwood Road and maybe even Hearn and Juella in the residential areas there's going to be people that are going to be charging uh, people that are, are going to attend this event they're going to be charging these people to park in their yards and on their street but that is a great opportunity for people to come and break into your car while you're inside this while you're inside independent stadium having a good time you could have you could possibly have people breaking into your cars especially off the side streets off of greenwood road and hearn and juella those streets, those side streets off of, especially Greenwood Road, those side streets that are off Greenwood Road, they're going to be congested. It's going to be hard for you to get in and even harder for you to get out. So while you're in that, while you're in Independent Stadium for those two to three hours, that gives these thieves the perfect opportunity to break into your cars. Because the parking in and around the stadium and even out here near Captain Stadium, the old abandoned Captain Stadium, all that's going to be full. So this event, the events are supposed to start around eight o'clock. So if you're not here by, I would say, probably six o'clock that day, you're, gonna, you're not going to have anywhere to park anywhere on the fairgrounds. You're going to be the person who's going to have to park on somewhere down Greenwood Road, Hearn or Juella. And when you're parked that far out, it just makes your it just makes you and your car less safe there's going to be some spaces there's going to be some areas where law enforcement won't patrol as often as they will around the stadium and the fairgrounds so that's another security issue but I, like i said i'm really pulling for shreveport i'm really pulling for this event to be a success but i just think that we're not prepared if you watch that video that i posted back in december when i attended the independence bowl 
the parking was just the parking process was just horrendous they hired people who didn't know what they were doing I had some guy try to tell me to park in a certain area that I wasn't supposed to park at I mean it's gonna be a disaster and there's gonna be probably uh, heated arguments and probably confrontations with these parking lot attendants on where to park I'm telling y'all right now and take what I'm saying into consideration but I think this is just more of a money grab for the higher-ups of Shreveport. It really is. The city council members and some higher-ups in Shreveport, yeah, they'll, they'll get a big paycheck from this. And yes, we'll be getting our entertainment as the people that's attending this event. But I think it's more of a safety issue than anything. Oh, I want to let the world know Shreveport, Louisiana is open for business. We outside, Shreveport! <laughs>